Today we're going to go over logging into Infinite Campus as a parent. From the lcsedu.net website, scroll down to Infinite Campus Portal. You'll then need to scroll down until you see the Parent and Student Portal login. You can also use the shortcut bit.ly forward slash LCS Portal to get to this login page too. Once we've chosen Parent, if you've forgotten your password or forgot your username, you can select below the login button and be redirected to access that information. If you're a new user, keep scrolling down and there's a link for you as well. Enter your username and password, select login, and we'll begin. The first page you come to, the home page, is the message center. You'll see any current announcements or you can toggle to the, your inbox, which has various messages from teachers or from schools. The three lines in the upper left hand corner will toggle open your page choices and can toggle it closed to optimize your screen for viewing the information. In the upper right hand corner, the bell shows the notifications from grades that have been entered. Above it, if you have new notifications, there'll be a red circle and a number. Click on the bell and you can see your students, grades, and activities that have been added. To see more detail, let's click on the three lines in the upper left hand corner and scroll to today. You will see one of your children, their general information and schedule. In the upper right hand corner, if you click on your student's name, you will see a drop down of your other children that you are the guardian of. If you want to see specific items on the calendar, click on the calendar and you will see the dots represent assignments that were due on those calendar dates. Infinite Campus has all of the assignments and grades that are included in your student's grade calculation. So if you click on the assignments, you'll see each individual assignment, the class it is associated with, the grade the student received on the assignment, and any comments the teacher may have made while grading the assignment. They're arranged by date. You can also look at the assignments that are missing. The student is not missing any assignments. And if you click on current term, it will upload all of the assignments. If you want to see the grades, you return to the main menu, select grades, then you will see the actual grade for each class. If you scroll down, you can see the different classes. The quarter grades are in progress and our interim grades have been posted. So as we move through this quarter, the quarter grade will still change, but the interim grade is a snapshot of how your student was doing halfway through the quarter. If you want to see detail about a specific class, you can click on the actual class name. It will take you to information about the course with the teacher name, and you will also be able to look at all the grades. The grades will be collapsed until you click the plus. That will allow you to see all of the different assignments, when they were due, and the different scores that your student received. And you can close this and return to the main menu. You can scroll down to other options. You can see your student's schedule, documents. If you click on more, this is where you'll go to do your online registration in the spring. You might want to check your address, demographics, family information, and make sure all that's up to date. And when it is time to do your online registration, you'll click the online registration, select existing student registration, Follow the instructions and you'll be ready to go for the next school year. I hope this has helped. Use that main menu, go between the different pages, and make sure you help keep your student on track.